This is WCPO 9 News. Thank you for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Julie O'Neill. Here's a look at some of the day's top stories. The number of COVID-19 cases in Ohio, Kentucky and Indiana surged over the weekend, though they're telling us it's largely due to expanded testing. There are now nearly 26,000 cases across the three states. That's up nearly 5,400 since Friday morning. 20% of the confirmed cases in Ohio are in the state prison system. The prison in Marion, especially hard hit with more than 1,800 cases among inmates and another 109 cases among the staff. That's more than any single county in the state of Ohio. Neither of the two facilities in our area, the Lebanon Correctional Institution nor the Warren Correctional Institution are reporting any cases of COVID-19. Cincinnati Public Schools is launching CPS TV today. This is a new cable TV channel that'll air various educational programming throughout the week for students K through 12. If you have Spectrum TV, it'll be channel 15. If you have Cincinnati Bell, it'll be channel 803. One week from today, absentee ballots must be postmarked for the Ohio primary. If you've not yet requested a ballot, you need to do that today. It takes a while for it to come to you through the mail. Again, all ballots must be postmarked by April 27th. There will be in-person voting Tuesday, April 28th, but only for people who have disabilities who require in-person voting. That'll happen at County Board of Election buildings. Jennifer. Well, we're kicking off the day with decreasing clouds. The temperature, not bad outside in the mid to low 40s in a lot of towns, but we are going to see an improvement in temperatures today and more sunshine. I mean, it's like a double dose of good on this Monday. Temperatures will end up in the mid 50s by lunch. High today, around 62 degrees. Farther south you are, better chance you could even make it up to around 65 degrees. Tonight, though, clouds are going to come back into the tri-state as our latest cold front moves in. Now, this will produce a few stray showers, but this is not a guaranteed chance for rain for all of our towns. We'll see rain mainly starting around 11 p.m. and then falling again very hit or miss into early tomorrow morning. But there is a negative impact on tomorrow's temperature. I'll show that to you coming up in a little bit.